a homemade laser system to monitor a baby, and a snake. Cake. Vsauce. Kevin here. This is my blow. A Japanese company is printing statues of unborn babies. Using an MRI scan, biotexture modeling software, and a 3D printer, a company called Facitech will print the mother's entire pelvic region in a clear resin and the gestating fetus in white. And it only costs around 1250 bucks. So yeah. Cloning your face on an animatronic figure is becoming eerily realistic. The Disney Research Hub starts this process by capturing the movements of a person's face and creating a mesh sequence that mimics it down to each wrinkle. The synthetic skin is made of silicone, and here's a side-by-side -side comparison. Why are you trying so hard to fit in when you were born? To stand out. Oh, and they also have a system for reconstructing facial hair. They create what they call a shrink wrap of the surface of the face with the facial hair, then reconstruct the underlying skin and the individual hairs and combine it all in the finished hairy product. Get a bigger bike, they said. You'll never be able to ride it, they said. In Dr. Octopus news, survival research laboratories debuted the SRL spine robot. It's made up of 52 segments and it's 12 feet in length. But it's not intended for any practical purpose, it's really just meant to look cool, which it does. DARPA has developed a kind of tank that drives on top of water. The Captive Air Amphibious Transporter has air-filled pontoons on a tank tread-like design. And this video features a one-fifth scale of the actual vehicle designed for disaster relief. Steak pops! Researchers have developed an indestructible inchworm robot. Meshworm is a soft robot that uses artificial muscle made from shape memory alloy. And the tube expands and contracts with an electric current allowing it to move. Also, it's really, really tough. Aeroflex built a hover bike that runs on powerful fans. They've tested it at 30 miles per hour and 15 feet high, but unfortunately they don't have any current plans to make these things for the public. Finally, thousands of LEDs illuminated by the contact of water create water light graffiti. I'm gonna leave you with an anti-earthquake bed. And as always, thanks for watching.